This VS Code extension is gonna completely change the way that I manage my Markdown blog. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So about six months ago, I migrated from using a headless CMS, a headless content management system for my blog to using embedded Markdown. That means I write Markdown for each one of my posts and it's embedded right inside of my source code. So here's a look at one of my articles, JavaScript trends of 2023. Here's all of the Markdown and there's links and maybe images and titles or H2s or whatever. And then we have this front matter section. So this front matter has different pieces of metadata about each article like title, slug, description, when it was published, uh, YouTube video ID if I have one to embed at the top. So we have all this um, front matter. And the annoying thing about this is every time I wanna create a new uh, blog post, I go into blog, I create a new thing, I say new uh, blog post.md. And then I basically uh, take the markdown or the um, front matter from one and I copy it over and I update it. So that means I manually type in the title, manually generate the slug, manually do this image stuff and, and tags and all these things. And like, it's nice to have full control over that. And there's a few things like even on top of that, ma that make it nicer, but it's still like, it's still a hassle. So one of the things that is nice though, is that I'm using Astro for my blog. So Astro is really just amazing for building content focused sites. And one of the things that they added is the ability to define TypeScript types for the front matter. So that way Astro can tell you if you're missing some data, if it's not formatted correctly, et cetera. So that's really, really nice, but this whole process is like pretty manual and I, I don't love it. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you the new way that I found to manage front matter, which is like by far exponentially so much better, so much better. So this is the front matter extension inside of VS Code. I came across this, I installed it immediately and hadn't watched or hadn't used it until recently when Elio, the creator came on my stream. You can watch the full live stream for a deep hands-on tutorial of set, setting this up inside of uh, my VS Code. But this is basically a headless CMS right inside of VS Code, inside of the, the editor. So what does this look like? Well, this means if I open up a markdown file after I have the extension installed and I have it configured, I get to, like the quickest thing is I can just view all the metadata, the front matter over here. So typing in the title, not that big a deal. That's basically the same as being over here. Here's a nice thing though, is if I don't have a slug, I can generate the slug. Uh, so it'll do that for me. And notice that it updates the markdown over here. Now, another thing that I could do if I don't have this and I say like the top JavaScript trends in 2023, I never know what to do with the word the. So when they generate the slug for me, it actually gets rid of the useless words inside of that. So it gives me an optimized uh, slug. You can see there's a button up here for optimized slug too. I'm going to not save this just because I don't want to change the URL uh, for an existing article, but it has the ability to generate that slug for me. Really sweet. It also has a preview of the image. So like notice over here, this is uh, just a URL. Uh, it has a preview of the image. I can also remove this image and I can add a new cover image with this media image manager thing, which is wild. So it looks inside of the post uh, directory. And then here I have to find like, where is where is that folder? So JavaScript trends 2023, and then uh, add that cover. And now this thing is added back in. So basically nothing's changed, but I have this preview of it, which is amazing. Date picker for publish date. And then a really cool thing is tags. So I have a tag picker in here, because before I would just like manually type in tags. And so you have these potential issues of like node versus node.js versus something else or a typo. Now I don't have to do that. And I can choose all of my tags from this list and it gives me a max of three. So I have a limit in here and notice that it has this list populated. I can add manually, but inside of the front matter JSON, I also have basically types defined for the different fields for different types of content. So in this, this is my default. This is going to be for blogs and you can see all these same properties that we're already using, including uh, tags and you have a limit here. And then at the bottom of this, you can define what your different tags are. So here's the taxonomy for tags. This is what then corresponds to what we get to choose from inside of this tags editor. So, so nice to have this be something I can just click through and not have to manually type or copy and paste, et cetera. And then obviously notice that this just updates over here and then I can remove the tags. 
So basically, I have no need for editing my front matter in here anymore. Now, here's another really cool thing is I can uh, open up a preview. So if I say open markdown preview to the side, in VS Code, this is built in. So I can go and see here's what this looks like just in markdown, but not what it's actually going to look like on my site. So with front matter configured and installed, uh, there's actually a way to just preview this thing right next to it as if it was on my site, which is really, really cool. So coming down here, there's an open preview in addition to a start server. So my server is actually already running, but I can do the open preview in here. And this is going to show me, let's get rid of this and this. Uh, now this is what it looks like on my actual site because it knows what the slug is of this URL. It knows what the prefix of this URL is, which is slash blog. And then it can just show me this entire thing on my running site, which is mind blowing. Now, instead of having to go over to localhost 3000, go to blog, go to JavaScript trends, read, open up, and then toggle back and forth. I can see this right here. So, so cool to have this preview. Now I haven't even gotten to like the best part yet. I have been very close to writing scripts to automatically scaffold blog posts for me. What do I mean? I mean, uh, how do I write a script where I ask for the name of the post, create the markdown file, create the front matter like this, generate the slug, et cetera, do all these things. I don't have to do that anymore because front matter extension takes care of this for me. So inside of the front matter dashboard, so if we open up the actual dashboard, not the side window and close this, um, I can go and create a new, uh, new piece of content and choose what type of content. So I can choose blog. It's gonna say, what's the title? New blog uh, post, create this, and it does all those things for me. So it stubs out all of this information. It uh, adds the title. I can then come into front matter and go ahead and optimize the slug. I could choose the cover images from my media. I haven't even really talked about this yet, uh, but if I go to the media and then choose like this cover image, for example, I can go and like see the media in the media manager, add that description, tags, all those things that we just talked about, I can do right here. So I have the ability to create under content, multiple different types. So I have blog and courses and testimonials and stuff. Not to mention that I have a full preview list of all of my blog posts that shows me not only the preview image, but the tags, the title, the description. I can go in and uh, view them, like go straight to the code, et cetera. I could delete them from here. This is one I don't wanna keep anyway. So I can delete that. It does all of these things that I would want with a CMS just right inside of VS Code, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, so I think this is really cool. If you're working with Embedded Markdown, I highly recommend you checking it out. Uh, another fun fact, if you're interested in learning about Astro, which is what I use for uh, the framework in my website, I'm working on an Astro course. It will be at astrocourse.dev, although that website is not uh, doesn't have anything at it yet. If you're interested in updates about the course, you can sign up for my newsletter at jameshuquick.com slash newsletter. Highly recommend you doing that. But try out this extension. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to make your life easier with Embedded Markdown, and I'll catch you in the next one.